in this video, we're just going to go back and review all the different factors we talked about for evaluating different resonance forms. So the number one factor we talked about, which makes some resonance forms more stable than others, is neutral resonance forms are more stable than charged resonance forms. So if you have to compare two resonance forms, one's neutral and one's charged, uh, one you know might have some formal charges in some of those atoms, the neutral resonance form is going to be more significant. It's going to make more of an impact on that resonance hybrid. The second thing we talked about was that full octets are preferable to empty octets or empty when we have a, an atom with less than a full octet of electrons. So if you're comparing two resonance forms, one of them has a full octet and one of them has an atom with a full octet and one of them has an atom without a full octet, then the one with the full octets is going to be more stable and going to make more of a contribution to the resonance hybrid. Uh, if you have a negative charge that you cannot get rid of, you cannot neutralize, if you have a resonance form with a negative charge, it's best to place it on the most on the, sorry, on the least basic atom. So the least basic atom is the atom that's going to stabilize that negative charge the most. So you want to put your negative charge on the least basic atom. If for a positive charge, if you can't put a positive charge on an atom with a full octet, then you want to put a positive charge on the atom best able to stabilize. So when we talked specifically, we talked about uh, carbocations, and we said that the more uh, substitute the carbocation was the more stable that positive charge was going to be. And also, if you had a choice between an, an atom with less than a full octet, uh, between carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, make sure you put less than a full octet on carbon. And then the last factor we talked about was just that aromatic resonance forms are unusually stable. So if you have a resonance form which is aromatic, that's going to put much more of an impact on that uh, resonance form, on that resonance hybrid than it normally would. So just keep that in mind if you're evaluating resonance forms, that if one of your resonance form tends to be aromatic, then it's going to play a larger role than you might expect. And of course, if you haven't really covered aromatic, aromaticity yet, this isn't really something you need to worry about. But those are the four key factors which influence uh, the stability of different resonance forms, just in review. For more details, you can go through each of the individual videos on each of those subjects.